I'm doing a joint review of all of the Warsaw Pact M17 clone masks, the M17 being a popular US gas mask used during the Vietnam War. On the left we have the Czech or East German M10M, this is the Czech version. In the middle we have the Polish MP4, and also known as the Bulldog. On the right we have the Bulgarian PDE1. And also on the very far right we have the Warsaw Pact chemical hood for these masks. Okay, so the one on the left is the Czech M10M. And there was also a version created called the OM10, which was one, or OM10, which didn't have the drinking tube on, which is there, and it had a smaller voice diaphragm. Uh, and I'd say the Czech M10M, and maybe the East German one as well, I don't know because I don't own the East German one, are the best made out of all of these clones. Um, it's a tough one between that and the Polish MP4, but both of those are quite well made. It's got a nice sort of olive drab rubber, it's got a good voice diaphragm on it, an exhale valve, all the plastic is nice and clean, it's very well made, it's got the drinking tube as well and the kit bag's quite nice, it's that green one behind. All of these masks come with outsets as well. Then we have the Polish MP4, or the Bulldog. Um, it has a slightly better um, exhale valve on this one, the voice diaphragm's not quite as good but it's still okay. This one has the holes at the very bottom here, so it's blown actually away from the mask further. And it has the two um, filter intakes, all of these have the cheek filters. And this one for some reason has furry uh, sort of screws, filter plugs if you want to call them that. Also has a bit more of a pronounced nose on the Bulldog one. And it also has elastic strap, same as the M10, which is nice because it makes it easy to do up. And now on the right we have the Bulgarian PDE-1. Now this mask was an absolute nightmare to get the filters in. It's not easy on any of these um, M17 type masks, but the PDE-1 was the biggest nightmare because it's all made of a very sort of tight rubber that keeps contracting and they're sort of not quite made out properly for the filters. Um, Decent-ish voice diaphragm, same exhale valve as the M10M, so that's not bad. The lenses are all okay and everything, but it was a nightmare to get together. And the wrap straps on this one are made of rubber, so um, that wasn't brilliant because, of course, um, it's harder to adjust them and they pull at your hair a bit more. Then on the right we have the chemical hoods used from all the Warsaw Pack masks, and I've got um, the M17 clones. I've got a video up of the hood in more detail on the M10 if you want to see it. Uh, the Bulldog has a sort of fabric-y bag that buttons up, which is okay. And the um, PD-1 has one where you sort of have to tie it. So the PD-1 also has the worst bag. And I'd say the M10 has the best bag because it's sort of a waterproof bag as well. Um, also, the um, M10 came with a top for the drinking tube, so that was quite nice. Um, there's also the Soviet PDF, sorry not PDF, PBF mask, which is an M17 style clone mask, but the difference between that and these is that that is more of its own separate mask, so I might do an individual video on that. It wasn't based really on the M17 except for the cheek filter idea, but all these sort of use the same face mold as the M17. PD1 looks the most like the M17. And um, the M10M with the drinking tube based on the M17A2. Um, overall, they're interesting masks, and it's interesting that the Warsaw Pact actually cloned the Western masks, because generally they made all their own sort of latex hood masks. So that's interesting. The filters are a step backwards, really, because the um, actual cheek filters are so hard to install and change, they'd not be anywhere near as good as just the screw on filters which they'd been using before they made these masks but these masks actually end up being a fair bit lighter and they're easier to shoot with because of the cheek filters but yeah it's an interesting bit of history all of these um, I think that's really all there is to say about it you can find quite a lot of pictures of these being worn on the internet the M10M is the easiest to find because East Germany used it as well they go quite well with helmets these masks as well but yeah
Overall, um, I'd say the M10M is the best, the Bulldogs are close second, and the PDE1 is the sort of abomination of this series. Um, but yeah, they're interesting masks. Thanks for watching.